Hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and today I'm going to do a tutorial where I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on the carpal bones. Here are these bones highlighted in green. Now as I probably mentioned before, these bones are eight bones, so eight bones in your wrist. And before we go and talk about them in a little bit more detail, each and every individual bone here, I need to clarify something that is usually a bit confusing to me as well, and this is the orientation or direction of these bones, where they're exactly found. Now on this image here, you can see that this is the palmar side of the hand, and you see here the a little bit of the radius that is located laterally, and a little bit of the ulna that is located medially. Knowing that, you can see that the thumb is usually found, or is found, on the same direction on the lateral side, and same direction of the radius. Then if we move in medially, then we find the index finger, the middle finger, the annular or ring finger, and on the most medial side, then we find the little finger. Now knowing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in, so the same direction, but now a little bit more zoomed in so we can see these bones in a little bit more clarity. Now keep in mind that this is still the lateral side, of course, and this is the medial side, and the radius, ulna, and of course these are the other set of bones that are found more distally, the metacarpals. Now let's start the actual tutorial where I'm going to talk about the carpal bones, and it's important to say that they are divided into two rows, a proximal row that you see here highlighted in yellow, and a distal row here highlighted in red. Now each row has four bones, as you can see here, so each the proximal row and the distal row, they have each four bones. Now let's look at the bones that you find on the proximal row and keep in mind that for any exam you usually rely on mnemonics to save you so I'm going to also use one that I carry with me for every exam or for everywhere that I need to remember the the carpal bones and this is the she likes to play try to catch her and the first four words represent the proximal row, and these are the for the scaphoid, highlighted here in green now. Then you have the lunate. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.